I'll get to the meal right now. Chicken parm. Oh, there you go. Look at you, dude. Cadillac, chicken parm. I've always said this. Bill Burr, I've always <laughs> said it. This is, Bill is the most Italian, non-Italian. We've been on the road. This guy likes the mob movies. He likes the food. Dude, the, me and Barton. The thing is, Paul, you don't give German-Irish guys enough credit. Dude, I like schnitzel, dude. I like yeah. schnitzel. I do. I do. Good I mean, we, food is good food. And, 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 you know, the Irish aren't exactly, uh, and the Germans, it's not like they haven't tried to mob up here or there during history. Yeah. No, it's that's true. Movie. No, but you, uh, I remember when me and Bartnick introduced you to a garlic-filled olive. <laughs> fucking... oh. <laughs> you kept going. I still buy him. Oh, uh, yeah. He, we, buy him. we got him in Little Italy, and Bill would keep going in the refrigerator. We're like, you know what? Leave him for him. Because we were like, we just liked how much you liked it. Um, oh, yeah. No. Three. Three's the magic number with those. You go any more than that, it's, you, you, you did too much. But one, and they're like Doritos. You can't stop eating them. So what I do when I have them here in the house is I put them on a plate and I, I got to walk into the TV room. So, you know, I don't yeah. want to get up and go back. I can't bring the jar in. I'll finish it. See, I'm like that. I'm like that with like sharp provolone or cheese. Like I can't, that's my thing. I just keep eating it. Um, you just said something though about like uh, just w paving over feelings or like walk it off. Like my grandparents in the 50s, like, my, like if one of, if, if a family member drank, my grandmother would go, no, he didn't drink. And everybody knew the guy, everybody knew he drank, like he drank and she, no, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. There was never a problem in the family. There was like never turmoil where now it's like this piece of shit, you know what? He should one more chance and he's out of here. That wasn't the case. Yeah, there was no interventions back then. There was no intervention. <laughs> no. no. You, didn't, you didn't intervene. You mind your business. <laughs> well, you well, you grew you grew up like with is that German Irish thing is like the the deal with it right the deal with it. Yeah, uh, German people and Irish people, I believe, were were considered very stoic people. Um, generally speaking, there's a uh, there's a coldness to us. <laughs> um, and I am a. Uh, Sort of a stereotype where I just like, like my wife, she doesn't get like, remember that shit where you were saying like you had an Irish friend of yours and he could drink till four in the morning and just wake up a couple yeah. hours later, go work. Yeah. Not have a hangover. He does have a hangover. It's <laughs> just, he's so used to ignoring what he's feeling because no one cares in his immediate family or yeah. wants to hear about it, that yeah. it just becomes part of your your day. So like today, you know, I've been trying to sell this script and stuff and I was doing all these conference calls and then, you know, I cleaned the whole house, did all the bathrooms, had the grout thing, went to the hardware store, did the laundry, folded everything up. You know, my wife's having a kid here in the next couple of weeks here. So like, don't think my wife's lazy or anything. It's just, I have to pick up the slack. Yeah. Vacuumed the whole house. Still got everything that I needed to get done. Still played drums for 45 minutes today. Still squeezed that in and made everybody dinner. Dude. And, she, and she was going, uh, I forget what she said, but it always strikes me as funny when, oh man, I can't believe you just blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's not really that big a deal because it'd be a big a deal. If you did it, Paul, it's a big deal because you're in touch with your feelings. I'm not. So for me, it's just, I know this needs to be done. So I just go into robot mode. Yeah, like, like my back is fucking killing me. You <laughs> Doing those, washing out all the fucking bathtubs and that shit. Like, and you know, my, like I, I didn't stretch. I mean, oh, I'm old, man. I can't fucking do that shit. My back's killing me. And of course she goes, are you all right? You should probably sit down. I was like, no, I'm fine. My back was screaming at me. I, so and I remember vacuuming. It just struck me as funny. Like, why do I always say that? So you, you like, so you're hiding, like not hiding feelings, but that you, cause I noticed that about you. You're a go, you're a, like you and my wife have this thing and she's got that. She's German, Irish, Scandinavian. She's got that. Like, I mean, a big problem with me and her. When Paul, we, we play hurt. No, no. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're one of those guys every five seconds. Ah, oh, God, oh, you're in the locker room. They're rubbing you down. In the game, I'll play. In sports, I'll play. But yeah. Um, 
But one thing that Stacy's family, and I, they'll probably hear this. I don't, I don't care. But one thing that Stacy and I argued with one time was um, her family wasn't really good at hello and goodbyes. Like, and, and I didn't, I would ask her about that. I would go like, we fucking walked in and like, there was no like, hey, how you, do? you know? And, and she like was like, uh, you know, and I didn't like that. It's like, cause I grew up where it's like, hey, how you doing? Get over here, you fuck. Like that, that's part of what I like. I like to get in here. We're going to drink all day. That type of thing. Where it, with them, it was just like, it took like a second to warm up to get the hello. And it fucking bugged me. Yeah, I mean, it's just a different, uh, yeah, you guys, hey, fucking Paul, he's here. We're all, we're just sitting over there like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this, in guy, the fridge. this guy pissed at me? Yeah, fucking yeah. Fucking two to two. <laughs> we'll give you a score. <laughs> you, you made me, that one time, uh, Stacy and I stayed with you back in the day. And we would hear dishes and pots and pans at like 8.45. And Stacy sat up and she goes, are you going to? are you going to go help him? And I was just like, I, I was like, you know, we, we were, I was like, we drank until two. <laughs> <laughs> we smoked cigars until two. Like we're on the, we're on his deck. Yeah, I know. I, I've had a number of guys like you have stayed at my house. And after a couple of days they go, dude, can you tone it down, man? I, I was literally going like, he's got to tone. I'm looking like an asshole right now. And then you get up and Bill's got like the kitchen clean and he's got like, you had scrambled egg. No, you had eggs over medium, which I fucking asked for. Uh, it was, you were like a host of all. But, um, yeah, you're a guy that you don't like putting your feet up. <laughs> no, I don't know how to do that. And then also, I'm a very difficult person to live with. So I have to make it up in other areas. Okay. Here's the deal, Paul. If I did what you did around the house and was still wired like me, I'd be divorced. <laughs> 